Good morning, everybody. Captain Leon from Captain Leon's Boating and More, and I got stranded at sea. That's right. I mean, I pride myself in maintenance. Some of you know that I've been boating since I'm 15 years old. I've never had to get towed in before, and it happened to me. Uh, I did the tow of shame. <laughs> so, uh, how did it happen? Well, basically our battery went dead, uh, and I'm gonna need your help in this video to help me figure out just what went wrong. This is a battery that is only a couple of years old. Uh, I had a video on it when I first got it called Boat Battery Maintenance. Uh, it's an interstate, top of the line, absorb glass mat battery for Marine. For some reason, midway through the day, I go to crank the engine to start the boat and it's turning over very slowly. Rawr, 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 rawr. Couldn't fix it. Uh, did I have a jump pack on boat? Yeah, well, no, but I do have a jump pack on my Father's Day uh, wish list. <laughs> so I am getting that now, make no mistake. Uh, foolish me, right? Anyway, point is, we had Seato come, they hooked up their cables, they still could not get the boat to start with their jumper cables. I don't know why, is there a problem in the cabling, uh, you know, from the battery to the starter to the engine, I don't know. Uh, I did get home, I charged that dead battery up, and now the boat's running fine. It's a mystery. So what I did is I went out and I bought a brand new battery. I got a Doralast, a Marine, dual purpose, uh, you know, because I don't use it exclusively for starting or as a deep cycle. It's a one battery system in the boat, uh, 885 uh, cranking amps, which is great. And I'm topping it off now on a charger. Uh, we're looking at uh, 13 and a half, 13.3 volts. So this thing's pretty much ready to rock and roll. And we're gonna be taking the boat out now with both batteries. We should be covered. Uh, let's see what happens. We're gonna monitor the voltage. I wanna make sure the charging system on the boat is working. And uh, hey, listen, just a lesson, right? It's boating, anything can happen. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you can give me some answers here. Feel free to comment. Uh, if you like these videos and you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know, you always hear people say, oh, hit the like bell, hit the notification bell, you know, or, or smash the like button. Yeah, all of those things, they help us YouTube creators. The bottom line is we get a couple of bucks and ad revenue every time you watch these videos uh, it's not a lot of money I'll tell you right now you know what I'm getting is enough to cover the gas in the boat well it used to be I don't know prices today crazy buckle in let's enjoy today and see what happens Here we go, heading to the boat ramp, and make no mistake, it is a spectacular day outside. So let's hope everything else goes just as smoothly. All right, the boat's in the water. We're getting ready to take it out, and we are getting ready to start it up for the very first time. Uh, let's see how she does. says it's lovely and uh, we're looking at 14 volts right away uh, this is on the bad interstate battery I'm calling it bad it's the older battery that gave us problems yet uh, it seems like the charging system is working and the battery is charging so what's the problem is it a bad cable I don't know but we will figure this out All right, so far so good. We're still charging at 14.1 uh, volts. Uh, trying to figure this out. All right, so we're out here. So far so good. Uh, while I am running 
uh, not wide open throttle, but you know, around 6,000 RPMs or so, uh, moving along. The uh, voltmeter is registering 14.1, uh, bordering on 14.2. There's no question in my mind that the, the charging system is working. Uh, so the question is, is it a battery? What's the deal? Uh, when I go to now start it up, uh, after it's been sitting a little while, and we haven't been sitting that long, I'm just moving from one fishing spot to another. Uh, but I, you know, I do have the Lowrance going. Um, I do have a stereo playing. Uh, let me see if I can show you now what I'm talking about here. All right, so we got the, uh, the Lowrance going, and uh, we got the stereo system going. Uh, of course, we have the bilge on. You know, we really don't have much uh, in the way of electronics. Uh, I'm gonna start the boat up now and uh, we'll see what the voltage indicates. All right, so we're showing 12.4 volts, which, you know, and obviously she's starting to go up now that she's charging. My question is, should it be showing 12.4? I mean, this thing uh, was getting 14 volts. Uh, it's charged. Uh, normally, it's a resting battery. A good battery will be like 13 volts at rest. Um, you know, we'll see what happens as the day goes on. But you can see just sitting here, just charging, she's already starting to go up. So we'll move to the next fishing spot and we'll just monitor this uh, as the day goes on. Okay, we're still rocking 12.2. We've been in stationary for quite a while now. I'm gonna turn on the blower. And uh, that dropped us down to 12.1. Okay, so there you have it. We are at the end of our day. We've been fishing all day. Been out here probably like six hours or so. Uh, this battery is just working great. Again, this is the battery that caused me the problems last weekend. I mean, it just went dropped down to 10 volts with no reason. Uh, I did give it a little bit of a charge at home, charged it up, and uh, we've been using it. I mean, just perfectly. Uh, when I'm underway, I'm at 14.1 volts. When the battery just sits here while I'm fishing and drifting, uh, I do see the voltage drop down to about 12.2. Uh, but it just kind of hovers there and I, you know, I don't get it. Uh, not dropping low like it did last week when we got stranded. It had gone down to like 11 and a half and then while cranking, I want to say it went into like 10 volts. So again, uh, it's a mystery. Uh, I'll keep using this old battery, but uh, I do have the brand new one on board. If anybody has any suggestions, any ideas how just all of a sudden a battery that was just, I don't know, two and a half years old, just crapped out with no reason and now is prefer performing perfectly, um, help me out. Uh, leave some comments, reach out. So uh, with that being said, Captain Leon signing off. Uh, thank you uh, for joining me today. And uh, this will just remain a boating mystery.